strange. Spectral stains still envelop the house. Let's investigate. There are still writings on the wall. New ones from Thomas Hake. Or what's left of him. Friends, oh, I have to do this myself. Think you could take on a goat? Spectre would linger. Well, it's gone now. Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Panisar, est de loin le plus perfect. Tous en rôle, mais le tien, Panisar, est de loin le plus perfide.
Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> She was a wee thing, but strong. And my big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than her, and more wild too. In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, and she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. Penny Redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great saviour. Excuse my sister. 
Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. What does it matter how I got here? I lived, and that is all. Aye. Living be what counts. Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? But folk here still believe in you. What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise, they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. What became of those who stayed? Dead, or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She thinks you a madman, or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. Courage rises in the darkness, woman. The sunshine follows after. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Kate seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. It is honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. I'll hunt your beast, whatever it is, if you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong.
Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thickskin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Killing the beast helps everyone. Your sister only means to protect you. She traps me. I cannot leave camp unarmed, and she knows it. She wants me to give up my freedom and hand it to you. Not a chance. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. You and your sister don't much like each other, do you? No, we love each other. And everyone here owes her their lives. But... Uh, thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half-cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. Is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty.
Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. May I leave the camp? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. You and Kate walk the woods yourselves, do you not? Sometimes, and it's no gift. Kate's quick-tempered when she's not closed off. They say her heart were broke once. It never mended. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Hurt people hurt others. Happens every day. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. A target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. <laughs> I shoot just fine, thank you very much. You are lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. So, where do we find this beast? Uh, not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. To me!
Watch out. Spectre position. Time for me to shine. Get lost, won't you? That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. A mine, an old abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. That beam is literally hanging by a thread. Twenty guineas says you miss your first shot. <laughs> that cost you. <sighs> well, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but... Oh, God damn it. They never learn, do they? over yet. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. That corpse is taking aim. Take him under threat. Piss off! Try this on! Well, in we go then. I love these old underground places. I don't. Hauska Castle nearly cost me an eye. Ha! <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember?
daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. Ah, seems to be stuck. I have another in sight.
This leads us back to where we emerged. Bastard. Watch out. Spectre position. I won't let you fall. I know. It's you throwing me around. Keep it that way. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Hell, this is grim. Hunters became the prey. The bodies are uneaten. They weren't killed for their meat. Spectres did this. Their stains are everywhere. If this keeps up, there won't be a wolf left in New England. How angry must you be to wipe out an entire pack of wolves? Very angry.
It forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves, and plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. <sighs> Not even the youngling survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. A memory ripples here. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one, with many voices. Any spirits in borrowed flesh? Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and very angry. What the bloody hell? That was a little closer than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of Bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain and half the crew and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Doors blocked on the other side. Have another in sight. Divert your focus. The veil shields. 
Fancy that. A body. And there are teeth marks. He's not letting being dead get in his way, is he? Did we miss a few? You must take it. Why won't you come with us, then? The quickest you'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'll be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if Thick Skin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. 
Whistle for help if the need be great. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. It was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. Roaming the Highlands, we'd never let the English divide us. These are civilians. They cannot always carry their own weight. Aye, that much is clear. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe. Papers. Half bond. It says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah. But let her die. The younger New Smith has a low opinion of herself. Do you wish to go back? Home? We go where our work takes us. That's our home now. This almost looks like home. How so? My parents' house stood near the sugar mills. Before the fire took it, would they even know me? Would I know them? We could go back, you know. After this, we could go to Cuba together. First, let's face what lurks in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> 